Hey guys, welcome to Silicon Valley Girl and welcome to another vlog. Okay, in this vlog, we're gonna go to LA together. We're gonna attend a couple of cool events and I'm gonna show you the most expensive grocery store I've ever been to, but we are starting this vlog with a trip to Walmart. I'm about to pick up my kid from daycare and I need to pick something up uh, at the store. I'm becoming a real TikToker. Look at this mic. I don't know if you've ever seen uh, TikTokers wearing those, but I've definitely seen. And the thing is, it's so convenient because you can hear me speak and also look around because when I had a gun, like a gun mic, if I did this with a camera, you won't be able to hear me. So I hope the test goes well. I'm just so excited about short videos. Actually, we're going to have a course that starts on April 14th. Uh, for everyone who wants to grow uh, using short videos. But some exciting news, I just got um, a 1,700 payout from the shorts fund, which is like a lot for me. Normally I would get like 800, maybe 500. But because I started creating videos specifically for shorts, specifically for TikTok, I think the algorithm started loving me more. <laughs> and um, because I'm getting more views, I'm getting more payouts. But for me, it's just this exciting venture of trying new formats and um, actually like TikTok is one of the best ways to become famous right now. I think it, it's, it's actually the best way. So one of the videos went viral, 27 million views. It was a video with Lily and Lily and I got five packages of um, gifts from different brands because it went viral. Isn't that cool? Only happens on TikTok. I haven't been to this Walmart for a while, probably since 2019. I'm in Mountain View. I'm actually here to buy some yogurts and peas for Emily. Price check, milk, 362. It's non-organic. The organic milk costs 547. I always come with a clear intention, but I end up exploring. I actually realized I need something for breakfast and I hate sugar when I eat breakfast, like I hate sugar early in the morning. So this has six grams. But so anyways, if you hate sugar, your options are limited to like eggs and I can't eat eggs every day. If you have any ideas, let me know. But anyways, this, this seems like not too sweet. So let's give it a try. $13. I wanted to ask you guys, how are you, how are you feeling? How, how's your life? Because for me, the past month has been one of the hardest in my life, but I also realized that a lot of my friends who are also from Ukraine, who are here in the US, they're starting new things. My friends who are back in Russia, they're like, Marina, life continues, you know, it's harder now, but you know, we have to adjust. And if you don't know, a lot of companies left Russia, like basically it's now blocked from the rest of the world. And then my subscribers from Iran are supportive and saying like, hey, we've, we've lived like this for a while now. And so, you know, I've been talking to people, I've been doing some things and I realized it's, it's time to go back. It's time for me to go back to normal. Like my life was all around the conflict or war, whatever you call it in, in Ukraine and Russia. And uh, my family is still, they're like super depressed and they think negatively about what's going to happen. But for me, like seeing people who are starting their lives from scratch, I talked at this conference for people who have to start over and who are thinking of starting something new and just gave me this energy to go back to who I am and start producing content that I'm used to. So uh, I just want to thank you guys for support and I want to see like what's going on in your lives. Uh, leave a comment down below. We're going to go to Los Angeles and I'm just super grateful to the companies who are doing a lot of things for creators and uh, I was invited to attend a couple of cool events. So. Let's go to Los Angeles. I love how companies these days are focusing on their community uh, and creators could be either clients or a marketing channel. Uh, and yeah, it's easier because before, like 10 years ago, you had to sell because there wasn't so much venture capital around. Now companies are being flooded with money, which is also a bad thing, but I also feel that it gives more freedom to invest in, into long-term relationships. And these relationships like I have with Carrot now and some other companies, they're not something that's gonna go away in like a week. You know that this company supports you, this company wants to make your life better. And it's, it's just amazing. You know, it's, it's actual friendships that are built here. And I really like this approach. It actually makes me feel a lot more relevant as a creator. West Hollywood 
company that I invested in with my small creator check, Karen, they're like a creator um, credit card. They're doing this show Shark Tank where creators judge creator economy startups and I was invited to to be one of the sharks, which is kind of cool. And one of the startups who's presenting here already invested in them. So looks like uh, we're gonna have a cool crowd. Um, and yeah, I'm just putting more makeup. It's, it's just so cool, like startup investing, when it's early stage, at least for me, it's about hanging out with cool people. And um, I like how they're building this ecosystem around creators. They're creating these events, they're putting creators on the billboard. It's just so cool that, you know, finally, you feel relevant as a creator in the world of business. Uh, I mean, not like a, not just like a platform for advertising, but also as someone who can give some input on the product, who can participate in companies' activities. It's just super cool. It's, it's different from what I experienced for the past seven years. As a, seven years as a creator. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you're vlogging as well? Yeah. yeah. Hey! This is so, so cool. Thank you for organizing this. That's amazing. I became a professional TikToker because I bought this mic. And now we're gonna shoot some TikToks with Vania because he started his TikTok. So basically, it's gonna be like this, like, you know, on. Like all the professional TikTokers are like this, with with the mic on the cord. So we're gonna we're gonna try it out. Danny also just started his TikTok account um, a couple of weeks ago. He had thirty four thousand subscribers, thirty thousand something uh, in two weeks. When I was first uh, making the switch to from long uh, form content to short. Uh, my expectations were very different. I was like, oh, it's gonna be way easier for me, way nicer. I'll have a lot more free time. No, it's 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 the same, if not worse. It's uh, it's like a, it's de it's a daily commitment. That's what you gotta do. And if I batch shoot content, it's even worse. So like for me, I've learned now, it's easier for me to make one every day than to you know wake up and make twenty and then kind of like do something else. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the same. Yeah, I'm trying to do like yeah. I made a video yesterday, a video before yesterday, but I'm cheating, I have an editor. But yeah, short videos is the way to grow. We just recorded maybe 15 TikToks, which is crazy. Like back in the day when there was only um, YouTube and long videos, we would gather together, go to Venus Place, sit down, record for hours, only to come up with like two videos. Two videos. And now we meet for two hours. We spend one hour, 45 minutes eating, and then 15 minutes filming. And we together. get more views. And we, we get more views and more content. Really Pretty cool. crazy. And it's just as effective for... Web3 web economy. Which channel is this for? <laughs> Silicon Valley Girl. Okay, so yeah, those short videos are way, just as effective, if not more, for whatever you're trying to do. Like, uh, you know, do a, like a brand promo or, you know, promote something of yours just as effective and it's crazy how it shifted over the years link in description okay no phone oh no camera i will be filming with my phone i'm going to a party exciting Vista. This is uh, this is where our friends live. So every time we're in LA, we're here, and we have our own ritual when we grab breakfast. We're actually grabbing coffee at Blue Bottle, and we're going back. Our friends are making oatmeal. It feels like vacation every time we're here, probably because the ocean is closed and like the sunshine, and we're. When we first came here, when our friends moved here, we were still in San Francisco, so this place felt like summer. YouTube is right there. Google is there. All the tech companies. A lot of tech companies are here. Oh, the honest Jessica Alva's company is also here. I don't know if it's just me, guys, but uh, when I go to like any place where it's loud, I can't hear anyone i can't hear myself so yesterday at the party 
I talked to a couple of people and then I realized I just can't do it. Um, I called my husband. He was at Launch House. So Launch House is this program where you stay in this Beverly Hills man mansion with other entrepreneurs. And he was there, so I went there and I was just hanging out with uh, other founders and it was quieter. And uh, yeah, basically we are already leaving. We are, we're gonna go to Ear One because I need to make a TikTok about the most expensive store. It's crazy, uh, like the prices are crazy. A pack of strawberries costs 20 bucks. So we're gonna go there and then we're driving back home. Emily has fever, she got cold. It's a bit sad that we are now away, but yeah, we're gonna drive back and can't wait to hug her. Strawberries for $20. Welcome to Ear One. It smells amazing, but $20, seriously. stuff here everything is super overpriced but at the same time you're know, like oh my god I have never seen this yogurt I want to try this I want to try that this yogurt costs seven dollars seventy nine cents it's for me it's like extra luxury dessert so I'm, I'm gonna take a couple it's like the tastiest thing ever but it's ridiculously overpriced it's gonna last a I mean, I really want it. It's really good. Okay, I'll take four. That's it. Like, I've never tried. And they only sell it here. Like, I googled. I went to their company's website. It's only here. Only at Air One. People here are so LA. $14. And my husband says it's not good. Okay, I'm gonna take this mousse. This is $6. This is $6. That's crazy. They have their own selection of, like, milks that they do themselves. And they're okay, they're super tasty. This one is my favorite. The price is $14. Blue almond milk for $14. And what you can also notice here, it's crowded. This place is crowded. Another thing, they have really good soups. They're ready, they're organic, very good ingredients. Uh, when we lived in LA for a while, like we were back and forth, I bought these soups and they're Pretty good lunch, again, overpriced, but they're good quality. So we got some food, driving back home with lunch. The road from LA to SF, we only have like McDonald's and Subway, so we're always trying to have food with us, so we don't have to stop and so that we eat healthy. And our total is $176. We got some food to go. So the berries are the most expensive item, $20. Carrot cake, $10 a slice. Yeah, it's crazy. And I actually see a lot of people with full carts, so they're doing their like groceries here. No, like, because we came like to, you know. Like an experience, yeah. But yeah, a lot of people actually have, they have full bags of produce. What our car looks like. Food, food stuff. That's where Dima slept. Some cool perks about being creators reporting on Tesla. So we've had it for a month. We decided that we're gonna charge it. We just go to supercharger stations because when I called the electrician, it turned out we would need like an extra something to put the charger in our house. And we're like, okay, we're gonna just drive somewhere because we're renting this house. But then one of the subscribers reached out. He shot me an email that, you know, I saw you have a Tesla. Uh, let me just gift you our service of installing the, the whole charger. So they brought the charger and two guys came over to install. And I'm like, I wonder what have I done in this world for these magical things to happen? Like people just predicting the problem that I have. It's not like, yeah, we, we could have gone, but of course it's, it's a lot better to have the charger at home so I don't have to travel somewhere and sit there for like an hour. And I'm like, wow. Why does this, it's so, I'm so grateful. And they never asked me to promote or something, but I just want to help them out. And you know, guys, if you're in the Bay Area looking for an electrician, here are the guys. They understand everything, they have all the tools. So if you're gonna get a Tesla or just need some help with electric things, 
here they are. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much. I'm going back to my content. We're gonna see a Tesla review sometime on this channel. Uh, we're gonna see a flight review. We're gonna do a lot of things that we're used to. So stay tuned, subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to watch my shorts, because I love them. Bye.